Hello. This short video is going to demonstrate how to make agents conform to the shape of a mesh and then transform themselves to conform to the shape of another mesh. This technique was shown during the uh, SIGGRAPH demonstrations um, 2012. We'll be using the flocking system to do this. First of all, I'll load in the objects that we'll be morphing between. These are the two objects I've chosen. They're very similar to the ones that were demonstrated in the SIGGRAPH um, video. So what we're going to do is make the agents um, fly towards and stick to the surface of the, the light wave text and then after a while we'll make them blow apart and then attach themselves to the logo. Should be quite an interesting little effect. First thing we'll do is we'll add a um, flocking generator to the scene. So just open up the flocking master panel, add a generator, square one, maybe 30. Uh, the exact numbers don't matter, the more you've got the, um, the more detailed the, the effect can be. Um, now to make them actually go anywhere, because if we calculate that they'll just sit still, we have to apply an arrive director to each of these meshes. So if we open up the properties, add a flock director, uh, defaults to arrive, and the director knows that it's attached to a mesh and will automatically um, apply itself in that format. Let's lower these values down a little bit. And then if we calculate from here, all the agents fly up and they're attracted to the mesh. Now they're not actually landing on it, and I'll explain why in a second. When you apply directors to a scene, they're only essentially suggesting to the flock what it should be doing. Um, and there can be quite a few um, even contradictory uh, behaviors that they're trying to, to obey. In this case, what we have is the default agents try to avoid crashing into each other. The avoidance radius is shown by these small circles. So even though they're trying to land on the surface of that mesh, they can't get there because they're all getting too close to each other. So we just remove the avoidance range and remove the cohesion and uh, match velocity as well. If we recalculate the motions on that, you'll see the agents don't blow apart and they simply apply themselves nicely to the mesh, which you can see if I get that out of the way. Now there is a, um, a deceleration on that, so they're, they're getting there, and if I had a few more keyframes on my, uh, sorry, a few more um, frames on my timeline, you'd see them get all the way. But that's the basic uh, setup for making them move to a mesh surface. I'll just get some more keyframes because we want something fairly interesting to happen over time. Now, what we want to, them to do is to move to this text first and then move to the logo. So we would, that would suggest that we need to apply an arrive director to the logo as well. So I'll just go into the object properties. <coughs> I'll add an arrive director. And if we hit calculate and see what happens. Now you can see they're, they're attracted to the logo, they're also attracted to the text. And then as they're flying around, they're sort of juggling in between. That's because both directors have uh, an equal weighting. So the agents will move directly towards the closest mesh that they can. So to make them go to one first and then the other, you can simply use the weighting and keyframe it. So we've got the weighting here. I'll just open that up and apply an envelope to it. So this is the envelope for the text. So we want this to be the value of one, which um, essentially means it will be active. Then after a certain amount of time we're going to set that to zero which means that the agents will ignore that mesh and then we'll do the reverse of that envelope on the logo so then they'll be attracted to that. So I'll just go through that now. So I'll set some keyframes up at 150 and at 200. Uh, 
and then we're going to apply that envelope in reverse to the, lo the logo. So we're doing the logo's weight, I'll just paste that in, and then we'll reverse those values. So these keyframes here, I want it zero. This one here, I want it one. You could use expressions to, um, uh, you know, to link them together, but um, we'll just do it the old-fashioned way for now. So if we calculate that after frame 150. The weights should start to shift, and then they should all be attracted to the um, from the text of the logo. So they're attracted to the text, and we go through. Hits frame 150, and you can see the agents are being attracted to the logo, and then they all move over. So scrub through there. So from text to logo. Now in the um, demonstration that we did at um, SIGGRAPH we actually applied some um, uh, deformation to this and um, because the agents will be attracted to the deformed surface um, not just the static surface so if we just apply some displacement to this then we can make the, um, the agents do some fairly interesting things. So I'll just um, put a deformation on the logo. It's going to procedural um, ripples. It's fairly small. That should produce something quite interesting. But we can't have it move too much. We'll have to apply a uh, envelope to the opacity so it's not um, wiggling through the whole sequence otherwise the agents will wiggle when it gets to the end. We want them to sort of shuffle around and apply themselves to a new spot. So we apply the um, that keyframe, uh, that envelope that we had for the weighting. We'll just use the same one again and then just slide it over a bit. So what that will make happen is that the agents will move to the logo's position but the logo will still be um, jiggling around and we'll do so for um, you know for 50 keyframes before settling down and uh, we can do the same thing to the text uh, I'll do that in reverse I'll apply some ripples which is fine it's not very small um, apply keyframe Oops. Um, but we want this one to be reverse. We don't want the logo to start um, deforming until the agents are ready to fly away. So something like that. And we'll just shuffle this back a bit so that they'll start to deform before the agents fly off. And hopefully, if I've done this right, it should look quite neat. So the agents are attracted to the text. Text starts to deform. The agents try to follow it as best they can. And then they're attracted to the logo. And then the deformation of the logo slows down and stops. So quite a nice little effect and it's really easy to visualize this. We can just apply um, yeah, hypervoxels to it. Um, you can also apply um, Turbulence 4D. You can apply um, instancing. So about 90 should do it. If we're going to do this, we'll turn off the um, turn off the rendering for the logo. So you can see our agents moving up into position. 
Mm. And we can have them dissolving into the logo. And that's how the uh, that dissolve effect is achieved. We'll do some more videos like this. Flocking is quite a um, quite a complex system. Um, there's plenty certainly in the uh, node editor we could show you that for um, for days most likely. But um, this will do for now. Catch you next time.